you didn't get to number one. You didn't, you went on three. And that's not good, because then it makes it look like I'm just waiting out in the hallway for nothing. It really does. Hello, my lovelies. That's my moaning groan. Out of the way. Kind of. <laughs> you know me. There's bound to be more. I have a parcel. I do. A lovely DHL man delivered it for me today. He did. I love him very much for delivering it. Or should I say, Mr. Producer loves him very much for delivering it. Because this is his new toy. It is. Quite big, isn't it? It's a new toy. But yeah, it's a new toy for Mr. Producer. Let me explain why Mr. Producer is really excited about this new toy. Yes. When he was poorly, I don't know if you can remember, at the beginning of the year he was really poorly and in bed for quite a few weeks. Well, within those weeks, he spends a lot of time on the laptop in bed researching this lovely new toy. Yes, he did. Now, I think we're one of the few people that have it in this country now because we fast-tracked it. We did. We found it on our brilliant website that we are linked to, that we collaborate with, gearbest.com. We did. Lovely people over there, brilliant, very helpful, supportive. Whatever you need, they're there at a drop a hat, which is good, gearbest.com. So yes, we found it. It wasn't there last week, but it was there this week. So Mr. Producer got really, really excited, he did. So we decided to fast track it, we did. So we paid for DHL to deliver it us. I think we got it within five days of ordering, didn't we? It was quick, put it that way. You can have two ways, you can either have the quick way or you can have the free shipping way if you want, which you just have to wait a little bit longer for. Which, if you're getting it for free, you can't expect to get it the next day, can you? It doesn't work like that. But yeah, all the links to the lovely toy that I'm going to get out soon is below with the prices, is on the link. So click the link and check it out for me. It is hopefully a cool item. I'm hoping I am. But yeah, check out the link below to take you to gearbest.com where we bought the lovely toy from. So I'm going to open up now. I am. I think this is the right way. Is this the right way to open it up? Get the finger in there. Quite sturdy these DHL bags, and it, it's wrapped up inside the DHL bag as well. Dun dun dun! Well, they didn't know that. They look like little golf balls because <laughs> it's all padded inside. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for me? Yes, he, he, he has been waiting a long time for this. Ooh, ooh. Should we open it? Ooh. It's a Fable Tech Vimble 2. It is time for smiling. <laughs> Picture time. Are we done? Is that enough? Go on top of that. There we go. Right, it's a Vimble 2. Three axis stabilised handheld gimbal for smartphone. Now, Mr. Producer was getting worried that we were, he was shaking a bit. <laughs> I don't know why. But yes, we wanted to make sure the videos were more sturdier for you. So Mr. Producer thought we would get something nice, big and bulky. But we bought it in black and it was made in China. Yes. You can get it in black, white or pink. Now, I wanted it in pink, but Mr. Producer didn't like the idea of him having to walk around with the tripod in pink. <laughs> Would have been alright if I was doing the filming, I wouldn't have minded. But now Mr. Producer thought, seeing that he was the one that would have to carry it, he didn't really want it in pink. So, it's fair enough really, but the pink would have been awesome. You know what I'm like with pink, I can't get in it. I'm in. I'm in. I mean, it's a portable tripod in the package. So, yeah. So, it does look pretty awesome though. Can you slide it open? Oh, okay. I didn't know this. Because of its own carry case. Okay. That is awesome. I, I'm going to fold the box back up and stand it here on the bed. And then it's product placement. <laughs> then you know what I'm on about. How is that though? That is a photographer's best friend. It is. Not me. The fairy tech. 
the thimble. Yes. So you get the handheld case for on location filming when you're not wanting to carry it in hand. Oh, you get that brand new smell. Oh my goodness me. Look what you get inside. That looks awesome. So I'm presuming that's the nice big shiny thimble. Yes. Okay, I'm more excited than you at the moment. So you get a little USB. Because obviously with the Vimble 2 you have to put it on charge. So I'm hoping it's got a little bit of a charge so I can play about with it on camera. But you get a little USB. You get your warranty card that you can fill in and send back. And then you get your instructions, which I will need. You get them in Chinese or you get them in English. Yeah. Seeing that I'm not fluent in Chinese yet, we'll go for the English one. Yes. So you get all the instructions there of where everything is. That's such a product overview on that page. Then you've got your gimbal charging, how to actually charge it up. Then this one is for your, how to put your phone into it as well. Then you've got your power off and function modes. It's going to take some learning. It's not just a simple tripod kind of thing because there's another page on the back of instructions. I thought it folded out then. It doesn't. So download the app and firmware upgrade. Right, so I think I've got to download the app. But first... Window out, shall we? Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Ah! <laughs> so I'm presuming it goes like that. No, like that. Yep, like that. And then that holds your phone landscape or portrait. It does. On here. You've got your USB charger. Do you want to come closer? USB charger to charge it up in there. You've also got a little one here. I see. <laughs> Get a little one there because then you can put your phone on charge from the gimbal. If you're low on phone charge and you know you've got a full charge in your gimbal, your gimbal can charge your phone while you're on the go. See, even Mr. Producer didn't know that one. All right, so what's in here? Is this the battery, do you think? There's no admit I'll have to put the battery in. Oh, no. Oh, you know what this is, don't you? It's your tripod. <laughs> so to stand it up, it's all plastic, obviously. Stand it up, you thread that in. And now it will stand on surfaces and film. Ta da How's that then? That's pretty cool. Do you think? Okay, quick twist off. Sounds a bit like Christoph. We'll pop that back in there for now. I like how all the packaging's in black though. It, it looks very um, professional. I wonder what this is then. So we've got the USB thing. Not coming out. Oh. Oh, it's your hand grip. So, not sure where that goes. Obviously, it goes around your wrist, but where does it go on there? Oh, will it go? It'll go through there. It'll slide through and not through, won't it? Yeah. Oui. Mm -hmm. So there's your hand grip. So the battery must already be in there. I, I like how it's like that. It's, it it looks really weird. <laughs> Uh, my, my phone's not on airplane mode. <laughs> okay, you tell. <laughs> so yeah, what do you have to do first then? Should we sit down on the bed and have a look what we need to do first? We'll bring the phone over, shall we? So what I've done as well is I've brought a battery pack in. It, just in case it needs some power to give me a bit of help. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> I don't think I need any of those things over here. So, right, we've got my thimble. 
on my phone and my battery pack just in case. So it says, okay. <laughs> right, we, we, we were figuring out what to do first, Mr. Producer. Right. So I think we've got to download the app first. So we're going to get onto the app store. Where are you, app store? Here we go. Um, welcome to the app store. Right, let's see if I can do it with the camera this time, shall we? You know what? I did it. <laughs> I'm so clever. Yes, so we'll get the actual app for it. Install. Right, so I, I, I've been crafty. I brought my password in <laughs> because I don't know it. the right password <laughs> I'm really excited it was the right password so yes that's it downloading that looks quite cool actually oh don't want to do touch ID for that so personalized op operation object tracking so we're wanting to do object tracking so then it can track my face so then when I've got it stood in the kitchen and I'm walking around like a mad hatter like I do in the kitchen the camera will actually follow me wherever it's going that was the whole point of getting what well one of the whole points of getting the Vimble ball too was that I didn't have to keep moving you wherever I was going I could just pop it in one spot the camera on the Vimble ball too have it locked onto my face and then wherever I go in the kitchen it moves with me that was the whole point of it because I was getting dizzy and you was getting dizzy it's as simple as that yes so right, we have an open. Right. Welcome to Vcool Open Your New Horizon. Please enter the mailbox. So okay. <laughs> We're moving far back. You watch it or say we have sent an email to verify all oh, this lot. <laughs> it's loading. It's really light as well. I expected it to be heavier than that. It's just the top part that feels it feels top heavy. Yeah, when when we've actually got it turned on, it'll stay still, go rock hard. That that's a good thing. It's still loading. You have detected that you're a new user and created a account. So enter V cool. I like how it's called V cool though. So V cool would like to access to your camera. Okay. Wants a microphone. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Should, should I turn it around? No, it's facing this way, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, okay, have I got it the right way around here? So look at all them. So I don't know what any of those do yet. But I think what you can do is you can actually edit it using the V-Call as well. So you never know when we're out and about, Mr. Producer might be able to edit the video when we've done this mad crazy thing that we normally do when we're out and about and upload it to YouTube all edited ready. You never know, guys. Right. So I know. Ooh, searching for devices. Should I turn it on then? How do I turn it on? That one. Oh, it's come on. I know no stabilizer found. Woo! Hello. It found it straight away. That was pretty awesome. Right, so. Woo! I'm not doing that. <laughs> it wants me to reconnect the Bluetooth. Okay. Searching for devices. Oh, it died on me. Died on me, that's why it wouldn't do it. Right? It's flashing. Yeah, there's no battery. So can I put the battery pack on it for a bit? That means I don't get to play. I need to play. 
And I need to show everybody. How long does it take? Five hours. I'm guessing five hours. <laughs> Takes longer than ten minutes. I want to play. That looks awesome. Why well, is not letting me play? Two hours. Are, are, are we stopping now? You're going to make me wait two hours and it's going to feel like one second to everybody else. That's not fair. Okay. See, two hours. That really was the quickest two hours ever in history because we figured out it wasn't the fact that it needed to be charged. <laughs> so, yes. What you need to do is have the smartphone on it for it to stay on, basically. So, we are, we've, we've had a bit of a play. Not much. But we figured out as well, because Mr. Producer's got the widescreen iPhone 6, is this one? I get confused. It's quite big. So we've had to take the case off for it to fit. So, yes, we're going <laughs> to, if it stays still, we're going to slide the phone in. I think I've just done that the wrong way around. Should have them at the top. Yeah, that's better. Slide the phone in without breaking your fingers. So the phone is on <laughs> or in. So now when I press the button here, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, sorry, there's a ladybird flying around. Do I need to balance it up a bit first? Because what you need to do, because obviously it's an arm, so you need to balance the arm a bit. And it's gone a bit lapsy daisy, would you say, on there? So we need to just help it out a little bit. So I'm just going to push it in a bit, see if that, see what that does. So now that made it go the other way, so I need to go half that. I need to pull it out half. It's a bit stiff because it's brand new. So is that any better? So that's better, would you say? So I'm going to turn it on now, but I'm going to bring the app up first on the actual phone. I am. Be cool. Right, so here we go. Are you coming around this way? To watch? Mm, okay. All right, ooh, that's up. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. Move it up. I'm gonna try and not film you. <laughs> you know that's why I'm doing my curtains. <laughs> Should I do them on me now? Oh, come come all around to you. So yeah, you move it all around. Look, and it's the camera's not actually moving, <laughs> but the vimble is, and that's the whole point until you bang it. That is the whole point of a vimbo, is it's stationary, it's in, just like that. So you could record now, press record, or you can use your vimble itself to record if you want. There's your button there to record, look, are you ready? It's not working, so. Obviously, we need to do some playing about <laughs> to learn how to use it. So, I don't know what they're for. So, I think that's to zoom in when it's all hooked up. But I'm going to, yeah, it's not found the actual device. That's what's wrong. It's still searching look for devices. Is that ladybird attacking you? Bluetooth, is, there we go. Pair it up. So now it should all work. There we go. Hi. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Yeah. Saved the video. How cool is that? So you can zoom in and zoom out. Mr. Producer is looking as if to say, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that one. So yeah, zoom in and zoom out. I don't know the rest of it though <laughs> but yeah if you click on that picture there that brings up <laughs> I love it I love it <laughs> sorry that is freaking awesome <laughs> I'm so sad <laughs> so you can also turn the camera around right so this is your tracking so this is look you can do full follow, half follow, so full follow. 
it's looking now for for whoever so it follows all the way around so up down top middle bottom side to side hi <laughs> you don't want to record you and show do you <laughs> but yeah it does that or you can do half so then it doesn't move up and down you want to turn the camera around right yeah done it turned it around oh you want me to let, let's let's expand to film me shall we so we'll do the full follow because then it will do top and bottom so then it should actually it's not why, why have you got it what what how is well, how is that what is that doing anything you want me to move it's not actually following my face because that's not what that was for <laughs> it's to move up and down i think i don't know i've got a wait there what's this button ah face follow right so it's found my face but it's not following why are you reaching for it I'm, i can play about quite easily It's only got the face in though. <laughs> but now it's not coming down to find my face. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I, I like how it does that. <laughs> yeah. I, we're going to have to play a lot. Hope you know this. Oh, they're music. They're, they're quite funky to read. Ooh, hello. So there's all things down the bottom. I'm not going to turn. I, should, I need to turn that back around now to show you the actual screen because I don't want to show you, Mr. Producer. So it's gone 18 centimeters out. The actual rod is metal itself, whereas the rest of it's plastic, which is good because it keeps it more sturdy. So we can bring it back down, like so. Now I've got to figure out what all these are at the bottom and all of these, and yeah, there's a lot of figuring. But I'm hoping that it's going to make life a lot easier. That is the plan. Yes. So when we go running or doing yoga outside, bouncing up and down, where are we going to be bouncing up and down? Oh, running the bouncing up and down. So I could actually run holding it <laughs> if I wanted to, you know. Uh, smartphone rotation. Oh, it turned. It turned and then the actual screen turned. Cool. I want to know how to do the face track. I like the idea that you can charge your phone though. Where's it gone? Turn that around so I can get to that part. Thank you. Yeah, you can plug in there. So if you plug in a lead, obviously I have the phone the other way around. If you plug in a lead from the bottom of your phone there, to that there if you've got a full charge in your gimbal thimble gimbal vimble then it charges your phone so i like that idea obviously your vimble won't last as long if you charge your phone from the actual vimble battery power i don't know how long the battery lasts actually oh it says five hours that's where i've got a five hours charging time so it's five hours operation time <sighs> never mind yeah so <laughs> Power on and off function mode. Right, so when the blue light flashes once, oh, it does pa it pan mode. When the blue light flashes twice, it's follow mode. So, it's, it's, it's clocked onto your face there, Mr. Producer. But you see, it's not moving itself around to you, is it? Oh! Oh! That's that's weird. You you can you can move it yourself, look, without moving it. Yeah, I'm, I was wondering what that button was for actually, but you can move the gimbal with the bimbo look. Okay, that's freaky. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I'm there pressing it, thinking it does something, but now it. Um, meow. Or that way. Or that way. <laughs> so yeah, that's what that button does. Uh, 
if the smart frames on balance have to be mounted we've done all that right so the constant blue light so what we do now we're flashing twice that's in the follow mode now that means constant blue light is lock mode gimbal initializing motion motion control mode so I don't actually know what that means what's this do on the back Oh, it's constant light. That's lock mode, so it's not locking though. Or gimbal initializing or motion control mode. Blue light is flashing, initialization failure. Red light flashes three times low power. Red light keeps flashing, it's dying, basically. Um, single click. By connecting Bluetooth or vCall app, you can operation as follow. Single click for photo, so there we go, photo, done it, done a photo, what, you want, to do, you want me to extend it and do a photo of me, right, okay, press and hold for video, so we, fig we figured that out didn't we, it flashed on me, I was wondering what it was, so right, so it's extended, so we're going to turn the camera around, and we're going to, haha, Huh. We're gonna move the gimbal down. There we go. That that that's how you do it. And we're gonna move it down a bit more. And I'm gonna do my selfie pose now. Ooh, it has a flash as well. Did you see it flash? I did. It flashed. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Shall we have a look at them? Let's turn the camera back around, bring it down. Now that I've figured out that you can move it up and down with that button, it doesn't seem as crap. <laughs> there you go. There's the pictures I've just taken with my bimble. How cool is that? That's better than the shot I did with the box earlier. <laughs> Are you going to put it next to it? You just spoke, you know that, right? <laughs> All right, okay. So you can share them. I don't know, do you think that's good quality? Or is it the actual phone? It said the Vimble's not going to do anything with quality, is it really? <sighs> I know. I know, Adele. It's terrible live. Let's go back. Oh, you just swipe. And there's the other one. So that's the second photo that I took. It is. As we gathered in the first photo, the quality won't be affected by the Vimble. <laughs> it's alright, we've gone back. Oh, wait there. It's connected. Yes. Right. I want to get the face tracker working. But I can't seem to figure it. Right. Here's the function page. Let's have a look. Right. Um, so it's panning mode and lock mode. Follow mode, double clicks. In the follow mode, the joystick is pushed to the left, right to push and control the angle 30 degrees. Push it upward or downward to realize pitching control. What? 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 Okay, let's just try something. So, double click. Oh, I'm filming. Oh, look at that. Try again. So, double click. Just took a photo. So, okay, so left, right, up, down. Still not. Both pen and tilting directions can be rotated. I mean, we're gonna have to really look into that follow mode because I don't know on that one. What does that one do? Oh, that might be it. Just, just move a minute. Full follow. Right, so we're on full follow. So, that's it locked. So, it won't move. I think. Now, it should follow your face. See, it didn't follow. Why did it not follow? Why did it not follow? Ooh. Okay. Panorama. <laughs> Tiny. Oh, 
time lapse. Slow mo. I oh, can do slow mo. You can do slow mo. Can I film you doing slow mo? <laughs> Let's go up a bit. There we go. Only I'm going to get to see this though. Aren't I? I'm going to see if that worked. He didn't move, so how am I going to know if he does slow mo? <laughs> Not helpful then. Oh, it does though. It does. It did it. It did it. Right. So I've still got to figure out how to track face. Track face, that sounds cool. Follow mode. The rolling direction is fixed and the smartphone moves according to the hand movement direction of the user. So that's not going to follow somebody's face then, because it goes by a person's hand. What? Follow mode. The rolling direction is fixed and the smartphone moves according to the hand movement direction of the user. It does follow your face. It does face tracker. But it doesn't say on the instructions that it does face tracker. We're going to have to Google it because it doesn't say in there about face tracking. It says follow mode, but it just says about the person moving the hand. Follow mode. Like so. But it doesn't say anything about face tracking. Maybe when you put the tripod on, that might change it. Hello lovelies. Now we went offline for, for a few minutes, we did. So I, to, I had to turn it off. So, right, we're connected back up. We are connected, yes. Now, the reason we went offline for a few minutes was because I wanted to try and figure out how to do the face tracker. I did. So what it said was, it actually, the blue box is up. If When the blue box comes up, you double tap, and then the box turns red. All right, so now it will follow me, hopefully, wherever I go and make me in centre screen but because it's dying the battery it keeps flashing red on me it won't do it properly that that's what I'm hoping anyway because it, it keeps going upside down and everything instead of finding my face but yeah so I'm going to turn it off for now as I said in the beginning of the video all the links let's turn it off there we go so we're turned off all right We'll take that off. Right. All the links to the actual Vimble 2 from Gearbest.com are down below. So if you click on that link, it will take you to Gearbest.com where we bought it from. And actually have the prices, delivery times, everything on there. So go check it out. Give it a click. Have a look. Some reviews on there as well, which is good. But yeah, I definitely recommend. I will be doing a video again in a couple of weeks. When it's all sorted and I know how to use it properly. But I'm hoping in the future, the Vimble 2 will be with me always. Yes, that is the plan. But thank you for joining me in doing it. Like I said, the links will be below. The links will also be below for my Patreon, Twitter and Instagram at UK. So come and check me out on there. Like the video for me. Subscribe to my beautiful channels. And follow me, like I said, on Patreon, Twitter and Instagram at UK. Go check the links out. Honestly, it's a cool website. Goodbye.